Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing tonight? Who cares it's raining? Who cares? Hey, thanks so much for welcoming my friends from Knoxville, New Radio Dialogue. Hey, don't run off. This is Caleb Hall on trumpet. Garrett Tillman on drums. The fast-moving Joshua Howard on bass. Wes Lunsford on guitar. And the dazzling Keith Brown on keyboards back there. Hey, I think after the, sh after the concert, I think they're going to set up in the lobby and play some more. See, uh, we're going to be in the gazebo, but a lot of them are scared of water. So, you know, water and electricity, you know how that goes. So give us just a minute and we're going to get set up. Come on, guys. I would tell jokes, but... Yeah, sorry. How does a jazz musician make a million dollars? Start with two million. <laughs> Works every time. Give us just a second, we'll be up and running. We used to have a drummer. Oh, there he is. Did someone leave him in the trunk? You guys are very patient. I appreciate that. I've learned never pray for patience because you'll, you'll get it. You really will. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? 
Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Okay. Our first tune is called Cabeza de Carne, which means meathead. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who I think of when we do this tune. I'll just let you figure it out. Maybe, you, maybe you'll figure it out. I don't know. Hopefully not.
That's Joey Archer on trombone. That's Caleb Dick on drum set. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Who'd I say? Caleb. Caleb? Did I say Caleb? Oh my gosh, that's his older brother. What does that mean? Yeah, Aaron. Sorry, dude. That's never happened before, has it? Never. Figures. We're going to change the pace a little bit. We're going to do a Thad Jones classic um, arrangement of an old standard called All of Me. Hope you enjoy.
Thank you. That's Hamilton Provencia on piano. Thank you very much. This next piece uh, is from um, Bob Mincer, who's a saxophonist and arranger. Uh, he used to play with uh, the Yellow Jackets once upon a time. This would have been back in the 90s. And uh, had his own big band and wrote a lot of very modern uh, sounding arrangements. And, uh, and this is uh, one of my favorites. It's called Not Quite Yet.
That was Dimitri Farakas on trumpet. <laughs> Mr. Hamilton Provencio on piano. And Josiah Seitzma on center saxophone. Uh, this next piece uh, is one of my absolute favorites. I'm doing a lot of my favorites on this concert. I hope you're agreeing with me. You also notice we have a lot more people up there. Have you noticed that? So uh, I found a couple of 10 brass charts. That happens to be one of them uh, where we have five trombones and five trumpets. And I actually take, I would like to take just a second now to thank a couple of my friends uh, for coming in and doing this. First of all, uh, Dennis Bauer on trumpet. Please thank Dennis. And also from Knoxville, my friend Tyler Bullion. We'll talk more about him in just a second. Okay, we're going to do uh, Del Corazon, and they're, they're going to let the old man solo on this tune. So they're, they're real sweet to let me do that. So Del Corazon, from the heart.
That's Charlie Ed Holm on guitar. And Aaron Dick on drum set. Thank you so much. We're gonna come back in seven minutes, starting now. Don't go away. Um, I wanted to talk just a little more about my friend, Tyler. Tyler's from the Knoxville area. In fact, I'm, I first met Tyler. How long have we known each other, Tyler? Yeah. Were, were you a sophomore? Okay. So that's what? About six years? Yeah. Tyler was uh, one of my trombonists in the Knoxville Jazz Youth Orchestra that I conducted uh, for one semester. And, um, and he was a sophomore driving down from uh, Morristown. And uh, he's an extremely talented young man, and I asked him to come in and fill in. He's actually on his way uh, to the Air Force. He won a spot in the Air Force, in an Air Force band uh, out west. Um, he will be stationed at uh, Travis Air Force Base in Fairland, California. He will be the lead trombonist for their jazz band and the principal trombonist uh, for their uh, wind ensemble. So give him a hand on that. Yeah. Of course, he has to survive basic training first, you know. He has to get through that, and I'm sure he's, uh, he's in physical shape to do that, uh, uh, more so than me, I, I know. So I appreciate him very much to do this. He's actually gonna play a solo uh, on the Soul Snakes. My friend Dennis Bauer, I probably first met Dennis back in 19, <laughs> And uh, we go back a long ways, and uh, he has been, um, he, he's always, uh, he's been, he's a musician. Uh, he was just, he was just one of the smart guys and decided he would get his degree in business and finance and actually make money so that he could do this for fun. And we're just so glad that he is having fun with us here tonight helping us. Give it up for Dennis Bauer. Thank you. Okay, we're going to feature a lot of the guys in the band. This is a tune, uh, it's an arrangement uh, written by um, a guy named Lars Howell, uh, it, but it's based on a tune written by Wayne Shorter back in the 60s called Footprints, and the name of the tune is Soul Stains. I hope you enjoy.
Okay, hopefully I'll get this right. Clay Fissel on baritone sax. And then you heard Tyler Hatmaker on trumpet. And then Kyle Davidson on trombone. Then Josiah Seisman on tenor sax. And then you heard Marcus Wiles on piano. And then you heard Jay Newsom on alto saxophone. And then you heard our airman to be, Mr. Tyler Bullion on trombone. And a little drumming from Aaron Dick back there. And now we're gonna do the closest thing we're gonna do to a ballad tonight. Um, it is uh, Michael Abini. In fact, our last two arrangements are Michael Abini. He writes for the GRP All-Star Big Band, and both of these are pro charts uh, that we're doing. And uh, we're gonna close out with a, a tune from this, uh, from this book. Um, this is an old standard, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, look for the silver lining. This is gonna feature again uh, Clay Fissel, um, and also uh, Marcus Wiles on piano.
That's Marcus Wiles on piano. Clay Fissel on Barry sax. If you'll indulge me, I have a little story I need to tell you. Uh, and I haven't even told them about what's going to happen tonight uh, or what's about to happen. Um, I've been doing this for 19 years. And I've had 100 plus jazz band students, a lot of students. And at various levels of talent, some really talented, some folks that were you know, holding on for dear life. Uh, I would dare say that I can count on two hands the students that walked into this group giving me exactly what I wanted from day one, contributing and producing at extremely high level on day one, you know, 10 fingers I can think of. And uh, one of these students was a, a guy named B.J. Johnson. Uh, who uh, actually grew up in Utah and or, or spent his high school years in Utah and had an excellent high school jazz band program, which caused him to be very ready to walk in and, uh, and play with us. So he was a music major for one year and then decided that his heart was in medicine. And, uh, and so he switched to the pre-med track, but continued playing in jazz band and was a leader uh, in my ensemble. Uh, he played the solo trumpet part. He also played the lead trumpet part for me uh, when I needed him to do that. And so, uh, and because of his experience, uh, his parents were, you know, very, uh, impressed, you know, with with what all you know, BJ had told him stories about jazz man, and basically this family has um, had approached me some time ago about contributing to the jazz man um, to give give us some money so we could do whatever we needed to do, um, and so. Um, but more about BJ, he actually is a doctor now. He's in the Cincinnati area. He's on year five of. He's a certified internal uh, internal medicine. Uh, and uh, he's on year five of a seven-year residency as a surgeon. So he's doing real well. So I have to call him Dr. Johnson now when I see him next. And so, uh, and his little sister, uh, Katie Johnson, was a music major, um, flute player, and then also business major. She was an F.J. Lee Award winner. So this is the kind of folks we're, we're talking about. And um, but anyway, they have made a gracious uh, donation uh, to us this year. And, um, and he asked me, what do you want to do with the money? I said, well, I want to spend it on these guys. And so what we are doing is we're going to send two of them to the Jamie Abersall Jazz Workshop, which is the world's greatest jazz camp on the, I mean, on the planet by far. And it's an intensive week. And you get to hang out with professionals in the jazz world that come to be uh, staff members uh, at this camp. Uh, there'll be 60 jazz greats there in Louisville, Kentucky, and there'll be some five, 600 students there wanting to learn jazz music. And so uh, they donate enough money to send two of our young students, and I do this with young students because we want to, uh, we want to benefit from, uh, from what they're learning. So when your name is called, if you'll come down and, and get your envelope, I'd greatly appreciate it. The first award goes to Dimitri Farakas on trumpet. Come here. Our second award goes to Clay Fissel. <laughs> Don't you love stories with happy endings? Oh yeah. We've got one more tune for you. Again, it's uh, one of my favorite Michael Benny tunes, uh, Sister Sadie, written by Horace Silver. Folks, thank you so much for braving the elements and coming out here and adding to the warmth of the room. I appreciate you so much, and I hope you all have a blessed evening and the rest of the weekend. Hey, they say it's going to get cold, so don't put all the sweaters and coats away just yet. So God bless you guys.
Jay Newsom on alto saxophone. <laughs> Kyle Davidson on trombone. That was Jonathan Robbins on bass. <laughs> Hamilton Vibrancho on piano. <laughs> Lee University Jazz Ensemble. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night.